one of my students asked the other day why the geometric series test and the P series test looks completely different from each other. Because for example, we know that um, the geometric series can converge when R less than 1. The P series can converge when P greater than 1. So exactly opposite to each other. So the whole purpose of this uh, short video is to explain uh, uh, what is the reason behind. So let's start with the basics. Um, so um, we need to know what is a, a geometric series means. So geometric series means that's going to um, relate to the geometric uh, sequence. So what's a geometric sequence? You're going to start with the num uh, constant, and then uh, we're going to multiply by a, a fixed number every time. So we we're going to call that fixed number r or the ratio. So we're going to multiply by r. So that means the second term going to be a r. Uh, third term going to be a r squared uh, fourth term going to be a r cube like that um, so that means you can see the general term looks like a r not n because you can see uh, the fourth term is three so a r n minus one so that's how the uh, general term look like now what we can do we can add them once you add them uh, we get what we call the uh, geometric series so this is geometric sequence so this is the sequence and then when you add uh, the corresponding terms we get the series so let's try the geometric series so that means the sigma um, we can start with n so let's say uh, n going from uh, 1 to infinity we can add and then we write the general term um, so which is uh, a r uh, n minus 1 that's how we write it and then you can see that this is simply um, when you plug in equal 1 you can get a r 0 that means a and when you plug in uh, n equal 2 you get a r like that so um, so that is the uh, series that's a representation now the question is when this can converge and we discussed that um, we know that this series can converge uh, when uh, so let's try the condition so we know that if uh, the absolute value, if the absolute value are less than one, we know that uh, the series can converge, geometric series converge. If the um, absolute value um, are greater than or equal one, so exactly the opposite, then we know that um, the series can diverge. So you can also remember that uh, the absolute value r less than one. Um, um, and if and only if the series converge, so it's if and only if. That means if it is, if one of them is opposite, then the other one is also opposite. So that is the uh, geometric series condition. So that means if you look at this uh, on a number line, you can see that. So let's say uh, this is a number line. So let's put this information. So we have one. Uh, so one is the important number here uh, and then what's going to happen so anything uh, bigger than that anything actually uh, so you can see uh, absolute are less than one so less than one means so there are two numbers uh, so absolute less than one means you can see that uh, the r is in between r is in between uh, two values that means one and negative one that's what abs uh, absolute are less than one so the size is less than one of um, so that means the value is in between those two numbers so uh, so we say one and the negative one so this is negative one and one so you can see that the series gonna converge only in this uh, region that's where the uh, series gonna converge so series gonna converge here so outside um, because this is the when r absolute r um, greater than or equal one so this is the absolute value r less than or equal negative one so on those two sides what's going to happen series can diverge so those two sides series diverge uh, so so diverge and diverge so that's about the uh, the geometric series now let's look at the p series so p series So what's p series so we normally write p series we go in going from one to infinity so it's one over that makes the whole difference there 
so 1 over n to the p that's what we call the p series and we know about the p series um, so for the, for the p series when uh, p greater than 1 the series going to converge and then when p uh, less than or equal to 1 the series going to diverge so you can see that if you look at the condition this condition uh, so here the absolute r less than 1 is going to converge the geometry series converge and for the p series when p greater than 1 the series is going to converge and then you can see that um so if you change absolute value r to p is exactly opposite of that so absolute value r and p are um, uh, act exactly opposite the main reason for that is you can see when you write the um, geometric series your r is on the numerator but when you write the uh, p series you can see the np is in the denominator so that's going to change from top to bottom so that since it is changing from top to bottom inequality change uh, the other way around so that's exactly what happened because where you write the term so in the geometric series you write the term on the top is a r n and when you write the p series you can see that um, you're going to write the term in the denominator so that's going to change the inequality uh, the other way so uh, so so that is the main reason why the geometric series has less than and why the p series has a greater than sign so uh, so again uh, let's draw the uh, number line here so if you draw the number line so you can see that the uh, um, so if you look at the convergence uh, part so you can see it's going to converge one up so that's one and up so that's where it's going to converge um, so that's the only important one so that's why we write only that one so that's one so one up is going to convert and everywhere else is going to uh, divert so if you look at the rest so this we are it's going to divert so if anything below one so this is uh, p uh, greater than one so this is where p less than or equal to one um so thus you can see that's the main difference uh, in the uh, two tests so um uh, so geometry series converge when absolute r less than one the p series converge when p greater than one the main reason is in the geometry series you write r in the numerator in the p series we write np term in the denominator so that's the major difference